still not sleeping well. A lot of people complain. I had a great night's sleep last night. It kind of starts off a conversation with everybody in the morning. What you do need is the sleep on. So please welcome sleep expert Alana again. So um, we're, we're told time and time again how to sleep, what to do, whatever, but you want us to do an audit. Yes. So let's talk about what that is. Right. So basically what we're doing when we're giving our room a sleep audit is doing certain tips and certain steps to help us sleep better, right? Uh -huh. To create that sleep sanctuary. Right, right. Yeah. And, and you know, what? one of the first things before we go through those steps is what's the biggest mistake people make, would you say, overall with sleep? Tech. Tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah And we'll yeah. talk about that, but yeah. absolutely, we got to get rid of tech. In okay, our I do sleep with my iPad and my iPhone. Oh. I do sleep with it. Okay, first step is to clear the clutter. Remove what? That's right. So what we want to do is we want to strengthen that association between sleep and our bedroom, right? Yeah. So we really should only be sleeping in our bedroom. But what ends up happening is we start working out in our bedroom. Mm -hmm. So now our bedroom is becoming our gym. Or we're bringing work home, right? Our bedroom is becoming our home office. So we want to clear out all of that. And like I said, tech, probably the biggest sleep buster out there. Yeah, so we want right. to get rid of TVs, phones, iPads, everything, and really clear it out of the bedroom. And then just, just again, clear the clutter so that we're really just creating that sleep space so that our room is for sleep mm -hmm. only. And that's mm -hmm. it. It's like the master bedroom becomes a catch-all. Yes. Doesn't it? Uh, we're folding laundry. Right. We're watching TV. The kids' we're, toys. A uh, playroom. Place. Absolutely. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Give your night table a, an audit. So a night table should have what on it and what not on it. Right. Okay. So every season, I recommend giving your night table an audit. Because what could be on your night table could actually be hindering your sleep. Okay. okay. So we've gotten rid of all our distracting devices. Sure. And now what can we bring in? So paperback novels or books. You know, books are a great addition. Bring back the books into our bedroom. Why mm. not? Into our bedtime routine. Adult coloring. This is a great way to relax. So introduce that into your bedtime routine. It quiets the mind. Journaling, right? So we can write down all of our stresses, our anxiety, that constant to-do list that's mm -hmm. going on in our head always. Get it out. Do a brain dump. Get it out in the journal. Now, what are you putting in that journal, though? You're, are you putting, you're not putting lists in that journal? Well, yeah, again, if you have that to-do list, so what you're going to do the next day, we okay. as women are always going through, okay, we have sure. to make lunches. We sure. have to drop the kids off. We, Write it all down Write so that it's not down. swimming in yeah. our head right. while we're sleeping, okay. right? And then introduce certain tools like, I love this Philips Wake Up Light. So this has a great light feature that's going to help you wake up in the morning. But then it also has some nature sound. So you can use it as a sound machine to help you relax at night uh, for, during your bedtime routine. And a digital alarm clock because we're no longer using our phones or right. iPads as alarm clocks. Right. A little tip for alarm clocks is set your alarm so you know it's going to go off, you trust that it's going to go off, and then turn it around when you go to bed so that you can't see your that clock. Light. It's the light, but it's also a common issue with insomnia is waking up in the middle of the night and then not being able to fall back asleep. And then counting how many more hours it is to exactly. wake up. Exactly. You start yeah. doing the math and you're, I have four hours. I have three. Yeah. And then that adds to yeah. the stress and the anxiety that yeah. you're probably already going through. So turn it around and just the only time you need to worry about is it's nighttime. Right. And that's it. Funny funny story about that because the other day I woke up at 2.30 and I get up at 3.30 to do the morning show on Chum FM. And I went, well, you might as well get up now. It's 2.30. Yeah. But if it was 2 o'clock, I wouldn't have gotten up. That's right. I don't know what made the difference, but it made a difference. <laughs> but when, then you start, but what I did find out, knowing that I was going to be talking to you, too, yeah. is you do count it down. You do. You think about what, and then, and and you, then you're then stressed you can't out go about back that. To that. So it's yeah. a vicious cycle, right? right? So turn the clock right. around so you don't have to worry about it. Yes. And then certain tools, whatever you need to help you fall asleep. Yeah. So maybe you need an eye mask. Maybe you need some earplugs. Do you have a snoring partner or loud kids that are keeping you up? Yeah. Earplugs work great. Um, or hand cream with, like, that nice relaxing yeah. scent. All of these little touches can really help make bedtime that much easier. Those iPads are good. And some people are more sensitive to light, but it's yeah. also the pressure on your face. So think of the pressure points. It just sometimes that, that itself helps kind of relax right. an individual. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, no idea. Okay. Yeah. The mattress. So important. Okay. So what we have to understand is our mattress is probably the most important piece of furniture mm. in our home, right? We spend one third of our lives sleeping. That's a lot of time spent mm -hmm. on your mattress. So you should be evaluating, if not replacing your mattress every five years. So how do you pick the perfect one? You have to go into the stores and try right, them out, okay? Right. There's a lot of great online mattress companies, and most have great return policies, but you don't want to get into the hassle of no, returning a mattress. Right. So my suggestion always is to go into the store, try out the mattress, actually lie on one, and, yeah. and try out and see what works for you. 
The two most common types of mattress are your inner spring coil. So that's going to give you support, but a little bit more of a bounce, um, or a memory foam mattress. And that's going to give you a lot more motion control. And then there's little things that grow in our mattresses. There, <laughs> there are. But before, You're not sleeping alone, people. That's right. But first, you know what? We're, <laughs> we're going to talk about those dust mites. Yeah. But first, I want to show you the mattress that we chose for you today. So yeah. this is the Serta. It's the iComfort um, series, and it's the Merit 2 series. And this is sold exclusively at Sleep Country Canada. Yeah. And the reason why I love this mattress is the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So Certus created this hybrid mattress where you have the double layer gel infused memory foam. So you're getting the comfort of that memory foam um, and it also helps regulate your body temperature as well. Um, but then it also has the individually wrapped pocket coils. So you're getting the support. What and the does that all mean though? So the memory foam is the material in which right. the mattress is made, okay. right? So the memory foam, again, is, it depends on what you like. If you like, like I said, a bit more of a bounce to a mattress, yeah. you're going to want the pocket coil, so the okay. springs, okay? The memory foam, it gives you a bit more of a sink. So you're going to sink into the mattress. It contours a bit more to your spine okay. and your neck. So again, you got to lie down. And I thought I was a memory foam girl until I laid on one and realized ah, you I like a bit of a I bounce. Think you change. I think you change a little bit. And you have your needs, right? Uh, Whatever okay, you let's just say you bought a mattress no matter where. Right. 10 years ago. Still yes. good? I would recommend at that point you evaluate it and prob probably replace it. By anywhere between 5 to 10 years, yeah. you want to think about replacing your mattress. Yeah. When you're on one side of the bed and you roll onto the other side <laughs> and you can't get back <laughs> up on the other side, that's, right. that's called a valley. Yeah. That is time when you have to change yeah. it. And I know a lot of you who own cottages and cabins take the old mattress yeah. and put it up yeah, there because right. you don't want it to stay for or more you than give it two to your nights. Kids, right? Yeah. And that's not a good idea. No, it's, it's not, not a good. Yeah, you know, sometimes just have getting a new mattress can yeah. mean so much to better to really better your does. sleep. Yeah. Absolutely, you have to clean a mattress. Yes. Vacuum. Okay. So yeah. once absolutely once you get your mattress, you want to protect it. Yeah. So you want to be rotating it once a month. Okay. So from head to foot, and then you want to what? Once a month? Are once you crazy? A month. If you can do it. If you can do it. Really? Yeah, and that know. will prevent those valleys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, then, right. and then you want to vacuum it seasonally. So yeah, like you said, right? Sure. To get rid of those allergens and yeah. those dust mites. Yeah. And we have the Dyson. This is the Dyson mattress vacuum. And just once a season, right? Yeah. Just give your mattress a quick little vacuum. You know, yeah. and again, that's going to get rid of all those. shows up in that. This is a great, uh, yeah. this is a great mattress vacuum. Yeah. And that's going to get rid of all those little crits. Yes, yeah, that's right. Bed, right. Now, pillows are really important. And of course, you know, we always talk about about on Thursdays how to decorate your bed so it looks so beautiful and everything like that. But pillow, the pillow that you choose for a good night's sleep really matters. It does. And uh, choosing this the right pillow is just like choosing your mattress. So you want to choose a pillow that is, works best for you. That's right. That's right. Um, so are you a side sleeper? Are you a back sleeper? Are you um, a, a front sleeper, a stomach sleeper? So choosing the right pillow and then protecting your pillow. So making sure that you are using, we have a pillow protector uh, here, sorry, from Sleep Country Canada. And it's going to help keep you cool. It's great for travel. It's what really it? thick. It is thick. What, it why, is what, really so thick. So it does keep you. So, so it's it has the cooling a gel. Day. It has a cooling exactly. Oh. It's great for travel. Super easy to zip. Yeah. So you're using other people's pillows. You know, I do think of that. You do. When you go into a hotel room? I yeah. Go, I don't know. Yeah. So you know what? This is. I don't know. But then I go, I'm tired. I got to go to bed. You yeah, can yeah. fold this and throw it in your suitcase. Good. And away you go. Yeah. yeah. Instead of taking a whole pillow, take the pillow cover. That's right. That's right. wonderful. Do you sleep all less of the time? I do. I mean, I, I try and protect my sleep as best I can. But listen, I'm human. Like, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. going to be nights. And, right. you know, there's acute insomnia and chronic, right? Yeah, so acute, yeah. everyone suffers from that. Where you just, there's a couple nights where you're just not sleeping so great. When is the last time that you have anything to eat before you go to bed? Like, do you go, like, do you wait like, a couple of hours before you go to bed? Yeah. Nor, nor, for me, normally dinner is kind of my That's last meal. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's a cheat night, yeah, right? Which yeah. we all have. That's good. Cheat right. nights are good. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're all going to go home with a Hydrolux pillow cover plus a color... A color me to sleep coloring book? <laughs> Come on, you guys. That's great. All right. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.